Welcome to our video. Five craziest mythological creatures you haven't heard about. Throughout history, cultures around the world have created myths and legends. But while many of us are familiar with popular monsters like dragons and werewolves, there are countless other lesser-known creatures that are just as fascinating and bizarre. In this video, we will explore some of the most unusual and intriguing mythological creatures that you may not have heard of before. From ancient legends to modern sightings, these creatures will leave you wondering what other secrets the world may hold. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of the unknown. Number 1. The Chupacabra is a creature said to have originated in Puerto Rico in the 1990s. It is described as a reptilian or mammal-like creature, with spines or quills running down its back and sharp fangs. It is said to stand on two legs and to have a pronounced jaw and fangs, which it uses to suck the blood out of animals, specifically livestock such as goats, sheep, and cows. The name, Chupacabra, literally means, goat sucker, in Spanish. Sightings of the Chupacabra have been reported in various parts of Latin America, the United States, and even as far as Russia. The creature is often blamed for the sudden death and mutilation of livestock, with the animals being found drained of blood. However, there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of the Chupacabra. Some theories suggest that the chupacabra may be a genetic experiment gone wrong, while others claim it to be a type of undiscovered animal. Some even say it's a type of alien. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the chupacabra continues to capture the imagination of people around the world. It has become the subject of numerous books, movies, and TV shows, and many people claim to have seen the creature in the wild. Some even believe that it is a real animal that has yet to be discovered by science. Overall, the chupacabra is a creature of mystery that has captured the imagination of people around the world, with many theories and sightings, yet no concrete evidence of its existence. Number 2. The Wendigo is a creature from the folklore of the Algonquin tribes of Native Americans, who lived in the northern regions of North America. It is said to be a malevolent spirit that possesses the body of a human, turning them into a monster. The Wendigo is described as a tall, emaciated creature with elongated arms and fingers and sharp teeth. It is said to have glowing eyes and a fierce appetite for human flesh. The origin of the Wendigo is rooted in the traditional beliefs of the Algonquin people. According to legend, the Wendigo is a spirit that is born out of the cold and isolation of the northern wilderness. It is said to be created when a person becomes consumed by greed, starvation, or other negative emotions, and turns to cannibalism in order to survive. The person would then be possessed by the spirit of the Wendigo, becoming a monster. The Wendigo is a prominent figure in Algonquin folklore, and is often associated with the harsh winter months. Many stories and legends warn against the dangers of the Wendigo, and caution people to be wary of its presence in the wilderness. The Wendigo is also considered to be a symbol of the destructive nature of greed and selfishness, reminding people of the importance of living in balance with the natural world. In addition to the traditional legends of the Algonquin people, the Wendigo has also been featured in more recent works of fiction, including horror novels, movies, and TV shows. The creature remains an important part of the folklore of the Algonquin tribes. Number 3. The Rakshasa is a creature from Hindu and Buddhist mythology that is said to be a type of demon or evil spirit. They are often described as having a human-like form, but with animalistic features such as fangs, sharp claws, and glowing eyes. Rakshasa is said to possess great strength and magical powers and is known for its insatiable appetite for human flesh. The origin of the Rakshasa is rooted in the ancient myths and legends of India. According to Hindu mythology, the Rakshasa were created by Brahma, the god of creation, as a form of punishment for the sins of mankind. They are said to be the personification of evil and chaos and are often depicted as enemies of the gods and humans. In Buddhist mythology, the Rakshasa are said to be powerful spirits that dwell in the realm of the dead. They are considered to be a type of hungry ghost, known as a preta, and are said to be driven by a never-ending hunger for flesh. Rakshasa has a significant role in Hindu and Buddhist mythology. They are often portrayed as powerful and dangerous creatures that must be defeated by the gods and heroes. They are also seen as a metaphor for the destructive forces of greed, hatred, and ignorance in human nature, and are used as a reminder of the consequences of succumbing to these negative emotions. In Hindu and Buddhist texts and art, Rakshasa are often depicted as fierce and terrifying creatures, but also as capable of being defeated by devotion, wisdom, and compassion. 
They are also known to have been defeated by powerful gods and goddesses in many mythology stories. The Rakshas are a reminder of the constant struggle between good and evil, and the importance of self-control and virtue in order to overcome the darker aspects of human nature. Number 4. The Kelpie is a creature from Scottish and Irish folklore that is said to be a shape-shifting water spirit that dwells in rivers, lakes, and other bodies of water. It is often depicted as a horse, but it can also take on the form of a human or other animal. Kelpies are said to have supernatural powers and are known for their ability to change their shape in order to lure unsuspecting victims into the water, where they would then drown or drag them to their death. The origin of the Kelpie is rooted in the traditional beliefs of the Scottish and Irish people. According to legend, the Kelpie is a spirit that is born out of the wild and mysterious nature of the Scottish and Irish countryside. It is said to be a creature that has always existed in the land and has been feared by people for centuries. The Kelpie is a prominent figure in Scottish and Irish folklore and is often associated with the dark and mysterious nature of the countryside. Many stories and legends warn against the dangers of the Kelpie and caution people to be wary of its presence near bodies of water. The Kelpie is also considered to be a symbol of the destructive nature of the wild, reminding people of the importance of respecting the power and mystery of nature. In addition to the traditional legends, the Kelpie has also been featured in more recent works of fiction, including children's books, movies, and TV shows. The creature continues to remain in the folklore of Scotland and Ireland. Number 5. The Changeling is a creature from European folklore that is said to be a fairy or spirit that has taken the form of a human child. According to legend, the Changeling is a child that has been swapped by fairies or other supernatural beings, who leave one of their own in its place. These Changelings are said to be weak, sickly, and often have an otherworldly appearance. They are said to be difficult to raise, and often bring bad luck to the family that took them in. The origin of the changeling can be traced back to ancient beliefs about fairies and other supernatural beings. According to legend, these beings were said to have a strong desire to live among humans, and would often steal human children and leave one of their own in its place. The changeling was believed to be a way for the fairies to have a connection to the human world. Changeling legends are common in European folklore, particularly in the British Isles and the Nordic countries. They were often used to explain the birth of children with unusual features or disabilities and were also used to explain why a child would not thrive or grow properly. In traditional legends, the changeling was often seen as a curse, and many stories and legends warn against the dangers of the changeling. They were also considered to be a symbol of the destructive nature of supernatural beings, reminding people of the importance of respecting the power of the unknown and unseen. In more recent works of fiction, the changeling is often portrayed as a tragic figure, caught between two worlds and struggling to find a place in either one. Throughout this video, we have explored some of the most unusual and intriguing mythological creatures that you may not have heard of before. From the blood-sucking chupacabra to the shape-shifting kelpie. These creatures have not only been the subject of many legends and stories, but they have also been the subject of many theories and speculations, yet no concrete evidence of their existence has been found. But whether or not they are real, these creatures continue reminding us of the secrets and mysteries that the world may hold. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed learning about these five craziest mythological creatures you haven't heard about.